Hey there everyone, welcome to my channel, Kiwi's Collectibles. If you are new here, my channel is all about thrifting for home decor and for things that I can resell. Today we are going thrifting at a few of the Goodwill stores in my area of Columbia, South Carolina. I'm not looking for anything in particular today. For me, thrifting is a great way to relax and have fun. Finding something that I can either resell or use in my home is just the icing on top of the cake. So come go with me y'all, grab your coffee, grab your tea, and let's go shopping. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the little bell and set it to all. That way you will always be the first to know when I upload a new video. Plus, it helps my channel grow. I was chatting with one of my good friends and fellow thrifters and I noticed the macrame on one of the top racks. It is a fabulous macrame owl. It has some wear and tear and it's a bit dirty, but my good friend Lori here, she's holding it up so we can get a good look at it. Oh, look at this beautiful blue and white bathroom set. It looks like a tissue cover, a toothbrush holder, and I'm not sure if one is a cup, since there is a warning on the bottom, not for food purposes. It is such a pretty set though. I've never seen a green smiley face mug before, have you? Ooh, I spy some buttons. I love to collect buttons, and some of these are newer, but it does look like a few may be vintage. So grabbing bags of buttons are always fun to look through. Take a look at this vintage Courier and Ives collectible coffee tin. It was in really good condition, except the lid had yellowed quite a bit. I noticed this brass piece. It's a turtle, and I can't say I've ever found a brass turtle before, but this is actually an ashtray. I found three pieces of white glass. This one is Indiana Colony Harvest. And this one has a beautiful pattern and I like that ruffled edge. And this one looks like a little cradle. I don't know if it's a planter, but wouldn't it be cute with sweet little plants coming out or a little succulents tucked inside? This is a simple owl tea light. But these, these are from Bath and Body Works and are scented candle holders. Their original retail price was $14.95 each. I stopped to check out this little helmet bank. It is a hobbyist piece. And this brass pitcher would look beautiful in a cottage core kitchen. Now, this lady is probably a hobbyist piece. She really is lovely. The lace is hard. It looks like they painted the lace and then applied it onto the figurine. The next few pieces are these wooden Halloween decor houses and they're distributed by Walmart and they remind me of those Sheila houses. I mostly find Sheila houses of Charleston and Savannah, but these are pretty big and they're a little plain for Halloween decor if you know what I mean. This bowl was originally from Hobby Lobby And this bowl, it looked really cheap. Mm -hmm. 
I found some pieces to what once was a nativity. Those pieces were a great price too. I love these honeycomb turkeys and I have a vintage honeycomb turkey that I use with my fall decor every year. It is so cute and they are just so much fun to decorate with. I noticed this poor elephant figurine that had two broken tusks. This elephant was in really good condition otherwise and it has its trunk up for good luck and prosperity. Take a look at this tissue cover. It looks like it's made out of oak and it feels like a solid piece. Now look at this beautiful decanter, y'all. It has its stopper and it has a gorgeous flower etched on the bottom. Then I saw two of these Starbucks mermaid siren mugs. And check out this old pattern on these vintage dishes. It has that 70s vibe. This is Rego restaurant ware, and it has an image of a red dragon on each side of the platter. I don't know if it's vintage or not. I found a pair of Pioneer Woman salt and pepper shakers. The pattern is called Flea Market Floral. And this set can sell on Amazon for $19.50. So a $2.99 price for Pioneer Woman salt and pepper shakers is a pretty good deal. This is a nice pair of Mary and Jesus bust figures. And I noticed this wooden cup. It looks like teak, but my gosh, the price is ridiculous. I thought this was a pretty little angel. She was made out of a resin type material and her wings were movable, but she was just so cute.
If you're watching from Kansas, leave me a comment below. These were really nice Kansas souvenir salt and pepper shakers. There is a lot going on with the shelves today. Oftentimes, the real treasures are underneath all of this junk. And some days I feel like digging and some days I don't. This looks like a Kokeshi doll with blonde hair. There were several places where the pieces were poorly glued together and I couldn't figure out if the part on her right side was supposed to be her sleeves. If you know, leave me a comment below. I found this beautiful piece of art glass in the furniture section. I love the colors and shape of it. It's not a vintage piece and it was originally purchased from Steinmart. Do you have a Steinmart where you live? Take a look at this portrait. Y'all, it is beautiful and it was signed. Then as I was browsing down the aisle, I noticed this one. And this one reminds me of The Sound of Music. Doesn't he look like Captain Von Trapp? And this portrait was painted by the same artist. Maybe this was actually Captain Von Trapp as well. The first thing I purchased that I would like to share with you are the bag of buttons. I collect buttons, so I was definitely going to grab these. I can't say they are all vintage, but I do know that a few of them are. Next, I picked up the Macrame Owl. It was such a fun find, but it does have a broken ring on its body section. You can't tell because it's hidden by the rope, and fortunately, it doesn't change the way the owl looks or hangs. I will try to sell this piece, of course, disclosing all issues to the potential buyer. If you are interested, my email is in the description box below. And that is all I have for you today, my friends. Thank you for shopping along with me. If you are interested in this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Make sure you leave me a comment and definitely hit that thumbs up. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.